Good morning and welcome to Radio Friends. This is Thursday, May the 14th, and on the line I've got Brianna Lennon, who is Boone County Clerk in charge of uh, elections. And good to have you, Brianna. Yeah, thanks for having me. Now, we uh, were scheduled to have an election in April. That has been rescheduled now, correct? Correct. So the local election that was the school board races and the city council races were were supposed to happen in April. It was postponed due to uh, the concerns about COVID-19, and so that is rescheduled for June 2nd. How hard or how difficult is it to change a scheduled election date? It is extremely difficult, uh, especially for county clerks that are trying to prepare for the election because we have to do so much in advance, like printing ballots and setting polling places. So the date change for the April election was at the perfect time. It happened right after the March presidential preference primary, so we had enough time to make the changes that we needed to make and get everything ready so that we can have a successful election on June 2nd. So who actually makes that the decision to change the uh, the election? Is it the, uh, is it the clerk or is it a committee no. of people? So in order to change, uh, like at the individual le- level, clerks have to go to the court and it's the court of appeals. There's an election panel at the court of appeals that can make that decision. For this election, because it was a statewide change for the April election, the governor made a executive order that moved the date of the election. Okay. This brings me to another question. I have heard some rumblings about certain people wanting to talk about changing or postponing the presidential elections on November 3rd. Is that something that could happen or is it close to impossible to change that? I think that it is near impossible to change that. It's extremely unlikely. Everything in elections is done at the state level when it comes to setting of the dates and uh, eligibility and all of those different things. And so the states would all have to do that individually. Um, So you'd have to have some kind of agreement among all of the states in order to change that date. So you're saying all 50 states would have to agree to changing the presidential election date if before anything could be done? Uh, Yeah, to make it have some kind of consistency, because otherwise you'd have some states thinking about moving it and some states still having it in November, and it would just be a mess. And I don't think that's, that's not likely to happen at all. Hopefully not. And if people need to vote absentee in Boone County, they can vote absentee, correct? Absolutely. So we encourage people to consider voting absentee. You have until May 20th to make the request, so you still have about a week to go. You can go on our website. It's vote.boonmo.org, and you can request an absentee ballot there. Um, Make sure that uh, when you are looking at the uh, application, you have to pick an excuse. And if you are complying with CDC recommendations, and the recommendations of state and local health officials, and you feel that you are confined due to uh, COVID-19, there is a excuse that doesn't fit perfectly, but it is there. And um, that excuse also does not require you to have your ballot notarized. That's important to remember too. All right. Brianna, thank you so much for coming by. And if people do want more information, they could just call your office also, correct? Absolutely. All right, what's uh, that phone number? 573-886-4375. Thank you, Brianna. Appreciate it, and stay healthy. Oh, you too. Thank you so much. Mm, bye-bye. All right, now on the phone, I have Valerie Livingston from the Boys and Girls Club. Good morning to you, Valerie. Good morning. You've had to make some changes uh, recently with the Boys and Girls Club. you want to share that with us? Yes, yes. Um, you know, the Boys and Girls Club was faced, uh, like all of our community and world, with the COVID-19 crisis and epidemic, and so we had to make some really tough decisions and uh, followed along with the Columbia Public School District to close, temporarily close, our Boys and Girls Club blue doors uh, for kids. 
our staff quickly went into uh, pivoting mode to figure out how can we continue to support kids and families during this epidemic. And the very first concern we had was uh, kids being hungry and food insecurities, kids that are using to, used to getting uh, breakfast and lunch at school and then coming to after-school programs, and including our after-school program, and getting dinner and a snack before they go home. So we quickly pivoted uh, with uh, our tremendous partner, Blue Events, to set up a curbside dinner meal pickup program that started on March 23rd. The program started on that Monday with about 50 meals being picked up from families, but we opened it up to all kids in the community, not just Boys and Girls Club kids. We wanted to make sure that all kids had access um, to Mm -hmm. healthy food, uh, especially to help parents during this very uh, stressful um, time in, in our life. And it quickly grew to over 250 meals per day. And so... Wow. Since March 23rd, we've already served over 10,000 meals and 10,000 snacks through that program. You said served over 10,000 meals? Yes, in in just the last 5 weeks. So How are um, you pay how are you paying for all of this? We do have a state grant that helps uh with the food program, but unfortunately, it is costing us about $2 per meal due to the additional uh packaging and labeling and distribution process. Um, so we are actively asking for donations to help that $2 per meal additional cost that we have as a nonprofit. So if people want to make a donation, how do they do it? Yes. Um, we have um, a couple ways. You could text, uh, which is probably the easiest way. You could text RELIEF, R-E-L-I-E-F, to 573-279-1151. Or you can go to our website. Uh, Our website is bgc-columbia.org, and there is a Donate PayPal button on the website as well. So you can make a a secure donation on your website for the Boys and Girls Club. Yes. All right, Valerie, thank you so much, uh, and thank you for what you're doing for the community and the boys and girls in the area, not just members of, of the club. And whenever you want to come back again, we would love to, to chat with you. Wonderful. Thank you for all your support, and we're all in this together. Yes, thank you very much. Valerie Livingston, Boys and Girls Club. Uh, check them out online and make a donation if you can. We appreciate it. We're out of time for today. We'll uh, look for you tomorrow on Radio Friends. Bye-bye.